welcome to a new day of Vlogmas. It's been a while since I started a vlog up here. I'm having a very peculiar hair day. I had wet-ish hair yesterday evening when I put it in the style um, with a headband on and it's just, you know, and it just dries in weird places. So I'm basically gonna, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I worry so much about breaking this unit because the glass is so thin, touch wood. So I'm basically gonna have a bobble hat on for the rest of the day. It is a very, very blusterous Sunday today. Charlie and I are about to head out for a walk. Um, and then we've just got some errands that we need to do, not errands, just like house chores to get on top of. Um, we need to go and do a little bit of a food shop. And then we are heading to the farmhouse for a Sunday roast. So it's going to be a nice, cozy, relaxed day. You might have heard me mention in the last vlog that we have actually um, run out of oil. So we're currently heating the house by lighting stoves, having the Arga switched up to the max and um, making sure that we turn on our Dyson fans in the rooms before we go into them. But it's still pretty cold. And this morning, my lipstick was pretty much frozen. I do keep my makeup tray in this window area here in the bathroom, and the bathroom is a cold house. That view there is just fields and fields and fields, so the cold winds kind of batter onto this side of the house. So it's a very chilly windowsill area and my lipsticks were pretty much frozen solid. So I actually had to sit on this for a few minutes <laughs> to warm it up before I could apply it. Anyway, I'm gonna go and find a bobble hat and let's take our little doggies for a walk around the village. Well, this is one of my not so glamorous jobs on a Sunday. I just had to pull over because <laughs> I realized I didn't know where I was going. I need to put it in the sat nav. Um, Oh, the engine's gone off. Oh my God, and the windscreen wipers are going off. <laughs> right, let's try this again. Um, yes, so you may have seen in yesterday's video that I did quite a bit of unboxing and um, I also ordered 10 or 12 new dinner plates from Dalesford and as much as I adore Dalesford, well actually they package their things very very well but you might be able to see behind me I now have an entire boot full of recycling, full of cardboard um, and this massive Dalesford box full of packaging so I'm just going to run down to our local recycling centre because it does completely take over that little kind of um, entrance area and it just looks quite messy so I thought I'm just gonna get all the stuff out of the house and as much as it is a very boring task I actually <laughs> quite enjoy the trip it's a very scenic drive from our village to the recycling center mission accomplished with my trip to the recycling center. Glamorous job for the day done. And now all bundled up, ready to take these little boys for a walk. I'm fully prepared that I might have to carry Dickens half the way home because it is very blusterous today. And I think my baby had a poorly tummy this morning because he was snuggling in my dressing gown and I could hear his tummy gurgling. So I think we might have a slightly poorly puppy, but hopefully the fresh air will do him some good. little wash after his walks. Dexy somehow manages to keep his paws very nice and clean, but my little chicken on the other hand always needs a little rinse down. Right, you stay there, bunny. You stay there. 
No, mommy's going to do it really quickly and gently for you. Oh, oh, oh. Cuddly coat grooming rinse. busy doing the chores a certain little sausage dog is making himself quite at home in my coat last time it was the towels and now it's mummy's new coat you're such a little sausage as many as we've got time to do and now I have got a grand total of six minutes <laughs> before we've said we're gonna leave for our Sunday roast at where is my bronzer Sunday roast at the farmhouse and we're also dashing to Waitrose on the way how exciting um I've just brushed my teeth with the pearl drops whitening toothpaste and it's bright pink and I always feel like it actually leaves my lips looking really really pinky but i'm just going to do a super duper quick makeup top up adding a little bit of bronzer from my charlotte tilbury palette my bronze in more select places from my by terry and darlings i think we had a little bit of a timing issue with my by terry video that you guys will have seen on um when will you, you have seen it on saturday because the discount code had not been activated but you can now use Josie 30 to get 30% off full size um, by Terry products so that is now active if you did, did have any favourites you wanted to add to your collection quick little bit of eyeshadow by Terry VIP palette lash expert mascara powder everything in place okay now do you want to see yes i'm editing in the background do you want to see my ultimate winter outfit hack so basically i'm actually not going to change out of my base layers i've got my long sleeve thermal top on oh my goodness how glamorous can we get which i'm tucking in to my sweaty betty thermal leggings and i'm actually going to keep this as the base of my outfit of the day because I have two new jumper dresses and I'm going to wear one of them um, This one is Chloe From Netta Porter just a really nice thick green jumper dress. I thought that could look lovely Well, this one from the same Netta Porter order probably won't keep both of them is Lauren Manugian. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's try on the Lauren first because I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to wear the Chloe. It just seems a little bit risky having a roast in a cream jumper dress. I say that but I do live most of my life in cream outfits and of course because I'm just going to be wearing boots. Oh that is quite nice. Actually I don't know that's really unflattering that's literally just like a sack. No I don't like that I'm afraid. It's a shame because I love my Lauren Manoogian cardigan but that is not flattering. I think if you're a supermodel, you're really tall, then that could be lovely. 
<laughs> but sadly I'm not. Right, let's hope for better luck with the Chloe. It's a really thick weave. I reckon you'd have to wear thermals underneath this. It's like, um, like a blanket. My goodness. It really is like wearing a blanket. Oh, that's better. I did order another Jennifer Bear headband as well as the pearl one that you might have seen me wearing last night. Um, but I have a feeling this is just too much for a casual dinner at the farm. I think I will tie my hair back because my hair is just crazy today. So I might pop in some pearl earrings. I'm actually gonna mix and match. These are my Missima mix and match earrings, but I'm going to pop a plain pearl on the other one because then it'll be like two pearl earrings instead of a pearl and a snake. Because I feel like when my outfit of the day is really quite plain and casual, like a big chunky jumper dress, and I like to just add a little bit of elegant jewelry to complete the look. I might actually add a slightly more feminine lip color instead of just the usual balm as well. So let's use my Urban Decay. Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade Naked Cream. The only thing that annoys me about these is that you have to keep spinning it around until you can figure out how to close it. Right, let's do, let's try a half up and half down hairstyle. Okay, I've just added a Loewe belt to give a little bit of shape. I love the layering that has gone on here. Obviously, it's a little bit... I think the silhouette would be a little bit more streamlined if I wore it, obviously, without, but considering how cold it is today, <laughs> no one's gonna know. <laughs> I don't think anyone will notice that I'm, in fact, wearing a full layer of sweaty batty thermal leggings underneath. Well, you know that I'm seriously scraping the barrel for Vlogmas content when I'm gonna take you into Waitrose for a very quick dash. We have got 13 minutes until the shop shuts. So, oh my goodness. We've got 13 minutes until the shop shuts, but luckily the only things we really need are toilet, toilet roll, roll and gin. <laughs> dog treats and gin, the three essentials. Toilet roll, dog treats and gin. So luckily not, not too much to get. And then we need to do an online order. We have just been looking on well i say looking scrolling on spotify to find a really good christmas playlist that's kind of a classical as you'll know we love the piano guys and i just discovered that they've got a christmas album however it's actually yeah a little bit underwhelming it's not that festive it sounded kind of do you know what though i don't know if we're sort of looking for something that doesn't exist because what we want is something festive but not too cheesy festive yeah and obviously like nat king cole and that sort of stuff is quite and even well buble is not i wouldn't say buble is cheesy cheesy but it's not not it's cheesy. overdone though but yeah but the problem is i actually don't think because we're almost looking for like the piano guys to redo those songs yeah so songs we're familiar with because i think that they did those albums like 10 years ago so piano guys if you're watching please please redo an amazing christmas album can we i did, just say yeah worth mentioning this is our first time in a supermarket in about three months that is or, so true all that i know of i've popped into oh. an m&s to get canapes for your birthday yeah a small m&s but a proper big supermarket we just don't do it anymore do no. we no we literally get most of our stuff from the farmer shops farm shops so wyatt's Paddock the butchers farm. We're and very spoiled. Um, fruit and veg shop yeah right 12 minutes until the shop shuts face mask on oh i hope i've got one in here i've become distracted at the first hurdle i think hang on oh We've not tried these, okay, Heston mince pies. Um, and I've definitely not tried those. Okay, let's give them a go. Vegan mince pies, brown butter. My goodness, mischief managed. Well, it was mission accomplished at Waitrose. We managed to get our toilet roll and our gin. Um, my camera does not enjoy vlogging in the dark, but we've made it to the farmhouse. It's 20 past five, but it feels like 20 past midnight because it's been dark for hours today. I but don't mind that though. Like, I really? actually don't. Well, I just think the way to look at it is, is just embrace the lack of light while it's here because it won't be long and then the clocks will be changing again. Yeah, true. Like, it the makes worst it month is cozy, definitely but... like the end of January and February. February is the month that it really hits you because yeah. you haven't got anything to look forward to. But with <laughs> no, Christmas, January and is the worst. Well, I don't know. January, I feel like I'm still always riding the wave of Christmas. Really? 
for a couple of weeks, yeah. Because yeah. February you start to see like spring on the horizon, but January is just like endless. I'm gonna say it because like, my mum and dad both have their birthdays in February, but I always feel sorry for people with birthdays in February. Really? Yeah, because it's and also like everyone's saving the money off Christmas. It's just generally. Yeah, but surely January's month. worse. I don't know, maybe. Both months are pretty average, aren't they? <laughs> Below average, I'd say. But anyway, we've made it to the farm. And also, just to show you very quickly, I did pick up a new Chloe bag from Netta Porter, and I think it's rather gorgeous. It's kind of woven a little bit like my jumper dress. Um, so I feel very, very snuggly and very bougie <laughs> at the same time. We know how I love a Chloe bag. I haven't tried fitting my laptop in here, but I'm pretty sure it would fit. So I shall report back. But now it's time to go and get an all-you-can-eat, half-price Sunday roast. <laughs> Got to make the most of my under-30s discount while we still can. I get it until I'm 31 because of COVID. A slightly better mirror for my outfit of the evening. No one's going to know about all my layers. The bag looks boys after a lovely roast at the farm and the little boys are getting their evening treats which daddy has so kindly topped up for us what good chaps what good young men what good young men sweet little sausages are the new blankets from Watson Hout? yes are the new blankets daddy yeah. is it cashmere daddy i only sleep on Finest quality handwoven. Are you growling at your mother? I don't want your treat, baby. I'm just showing the blanket. Naughty boy. Oh, I'm getting growled at. Right. Good night, Mr. Grumpy. Good, Good night, night Senor Sausage.